denominator, and these ones are higher degree radicals than the square root, so there's a little bit of extra work that goes into these ones. So, the first one's a cube root, so as I'm getting ready to do this one, I'm going to factor the top as a 2 and a 2, and I'm going to factor the bottom as a 3 times a 3 times a y. The main reason I'm motivated to do this is because it helps me to see what I have to throw in to complete my cubes, because right now, because it's a cube root, I have to have sets of 3 in order to simplify things in the, in the bottom, and that's really what I want to get rid of, is the stuff in the bottom. So if I look at the denominator, I see a 3,3y. Three, three, so I'm going to have to throw in a 3 to make a set of 3,3s. Three, and I'm going to have to send in 2ys to make a set of 3ys. So whatever I do to the top must do to the, or whatever I do to the bottom must do to the top. So I'm going to put those on top. But the advantage is now that I've done so, what I'm going to have is, let's see, in the bottom, 3,3,3. Three, 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 and since it's a cube root, that means there's no radical on it. Y, 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 so that's there. In the top, you have a two, uh, you have a cube root, and inside of the cube root, you have a two times a two times a three, four times three is 12, and two copies of Y. So that's the final answer to this problem. It's not as easy as just the radical that you have in the bottom. You gotta do something fancy. But notice that this now has no radicals in the denominator, and it's considered to be rationalized. Okay, let's see if we can do a similar type thing on the next problem then. So the next problem, what do we have in the bottom? Remember, the bottom's really what we care about. And we have a 3 times a 3, and then 6 a's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So actually, one of those sets of a's, or four of those a's, are going to be fine already. But if we're going to try to break out of a fourth root prison, I'm going to need to throw in two more threes, two more a's, because I have to have sets of four to get out of fourth root prisons. If I'm going to put it in the bottom, I have to simultaneously put it up on the top too. Three times three times a times a. So what are we going to have here? Well, on the bottom, four threes, so I'll put a three. 4 a's and then another 4 a's, so you're going to have two copies of a that escape, that's an a squared. In the numerator, we have a fourth radical, 8 times 3 times 3, so 8 times 9, the number 72, b squared, which was already there, and then the a squared that we had to introduce in order to simplify the denominator, to rationalize the denominator. So there's the final answer for this problem. So I don't know, this one's a little bit trickier, it takes a little bit more work. Pause the video and see if you can do this problem on your own. 24x to the fourth, 25y squared, cube root. Okay, so assuming you've paused and tried this on your own, in the numerator I actually have things that break out this time. 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So there's actually a 2 that's going to pull out in the top already. And we also have x, 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 x. So there's also going to be an x that pulls out because it's a cube root, so triplets come out. In the bottom, where the rationalization is really going to have to happen, we have a 5, 5 and a y, y. Since it's a cube root prison and I have to make up triplets, I'll have to introduce a 5 and a y, so I will do so to the top and the bottom. And at any rate, it looks like at the end, on the bottom, we have those triplet of fives, triplet of y's, thanks to us fixing it up. In the numerator, we do have a triplet of twos that's going to not be in there anymore. And we have a triplet of x's, so I'm going to put those out in front. Then we still have the cube root prison, which is going to contain the three and the five for 15. One last copy of x plus the y that we introduced, so there's an xy, and so there's the final answer. 2x cube root 15xy over 5y.